really honored to be here tonight uh, around so many creative people, so many dreamers. I, as a lot of you know, I really love uh, fashion and it's been a, a love of mine since as far back as I can remember. And in, uh, in my family, there were tailors and my grandfather was a, a carpenter, a poster. He, uh, I had a cousin that sold bootleg uh, cross colors, actually TJ, my cousin, sold bootleg. Uh, <laughs> and um, it's something that I, you know, have always had to, to fight to be accepted to love. And I empathize with anyone in this era who's ever loved fashion because usually it's not like loving the idea of being a lawyer, becoming a doctor. You know, it's like when kids tell their parents that they want to be a fashion designer, it's usually not met with the same response as the traditional held um, career choices. Even for me as a successful musician, in order to make the transition, it was really, all but impossible. People always try to box you in to what they know you best for. Artists, or the most successful artists, are as close to who they were when they were five years old, or four years old, or three years old, or when my daughter wakes up and decides to change her career seven times a day. I have friends that have clothing lines that are in Barney's and there are people who have managed to make a living out of fashion without going to school, without being uh, properly trained. And uh, a friend of mine who's an artist, his girlfriend showed me uh, her portfolio and she would bring up some of my friends that were actually successful in fashion, selling their clothing line, saying, you know, this is basically, this is good enough, and I'm just going to be like your friend and everything. And all I could say to her is, you, use your youth, use this time you have right now to learn as much as possible, to educate yourself, to, to hone your craft. I was good friends with Louise Wilson from St. Martin's who taught... Phoebe Philo, Alexander Wang, um, Christopher Kane, Stella McCartney, um, J.W. Anderson, uh, all of these rock stars that if you follow Paris fashion and all that, you, you know, we, we look up to these people. Um, and she was a really hard instructor. It was like the movie Whiplash almost. You know, like she got sued like three times. Because she was so tough on what was actually right, what was valid. And I feel that, you know, she, you know, she passed last year. But even before her passing, I, as a son of two educators, I felt it was more of my responsibility to enforce whenever I had the opportunity and speak up on what was actually right in my eyes. And by default, I've got a lot of haters since then. <laughs> but it was simply that artist's three-year-old truth that I wanted to get across. The reason why I would go to fashion shows so much, you know, over the past 10 years is I wanted to see the designers deliver their work in their truest form, exactly how they felt, you know, around all of the, uh, you know, issues that go into making a collection, which I know firsthand and fully appreciate. So many celebrities, the average celebrity designer, you know, their their fingers don't get bloody. They don't they don't pick up needles. They don't know how to sew. They don't know how to pattern cut. They don't know. And I can pin a little bit. <laughs> but I, I don't know how to pattern cut. 
And I respect people who have a craft, who have taken their time to really learn and hone their craft and deliver something of quality, of passion to the world. The fight that Louise Wilson pushed and instilled into her students. The fight that when you talk about students putting 80 hours in and trying to sleep at the school and being dedicated to the project. You know, um, And it's a tough world out there. You're going to prepare yourself for politics, bad bosses, hating employees. And usually, when you're the absolute best, you get hated on the most. But never stop fighting, no matter what anyone says, no matter how they try to compromise you, compromise your vision. If it's in your gut, if it's in your soul, there's nothing, there's no worldly possessions that should come between you and your expression. As a race, human beings, we're a blip in existence, death is promised. So what do you do with your life? How do you make the most of it? How do you make your voice the loudest? So I feel extremely honored to see new talent fighting for their voice that I can only imagine they've been fighting for since age three. That's all. <laughs>